In this question, we're told we have a spontaneous redox reaction, which means this will be behaving as an electrochemical reaction. And we're asked to figure out what the reducing agent is. So looking at the problem, we start off with a piece of iron is placed in a solution of copper sulfate. We're given some options in the question here to choose from of water, copper ion, iron ion, sulfate ion, and iron. Well, we're told in the question that we start off by putting a piece of iron into copper sulfate solution. We know that if this is a spontaneous reaction, that the iron will take on the sulfate like so, and we know that the copper will likely come off as copper metal. Because it's a spontaneous reaction, this is electrochemical, not electrolytic, I'm going to rule out the water. If it was electrolytic, I'd be very concerned that the water could potentially be involved in this reaction. I can see here that for a reducing agent, we want the species that's being oxidized. Copper, in this case, is a plus two ion, and at the end here, it's a zero charge as an element. That's not oxidizing. That is reducing. Going from here to here, this is reducing, making copper sulfate our oxidizing agent. Sulfate does not change between the beginning and the end, so I'm going to eliminate that. So, so far we've eliminated these. That leaves us now with iron ion and iron metal. Well, we start off, this is our reacting piece, this has a charge of zero, and at the end here, this has a charge of plus two. Going from here to here, this is oxidizing, making it a reducing agent. So our species that is the reducing agent in this case is iron.